this is uh, lecture number 42 on uh, drainage systems. So, the mostly in this lecture we are going to uh, talk about uh, you know the singular and composite uh, system selection and followed by the drain pipe. So, uh, here so the choice between uh, singular and composite system. So, uh, in the last class uh, I explained what is a singular system and uh, composite system in case of uh, subsurface drainage. So, uh, in singular system what happens the laterals are uh, directly uh, you know outlet to the uh, ditch open ditch whereas, in a composite system the laterals or field ditches uh, or not field uh, uh, tile drains are uh, connected to a, a main pipe. Okay. So, so that is a main tile pipe. So, that and then the tile pipe will be exposed to the uh, open ditch or any water course. So, so how do you uh, what is the choice between these two systems? So, in the surface water if you are concerning on the surface water right the singular system provides an outlet for excess surface uh, water. So, so singular system uh, can uh, you know convey the surface water out because because if you uh, remember so so the the singular system which has the pipeline which is uh, out so that uh, it can collect you know surface water as well as subsurface water so in, in order to i mean singular systems can handle surface water transport very uh, you know nicely than a composite system and then the next is the field size and land use. Uh, in case of uh, the pipe laterals should be less than 300 meter and field width should be less than 300 meter for singular side and 400 meter for you know double sided. So, uh, and uh, this, these are the field size and land, land use. So, the loss of land in uh, constructing ditches may be add up to 2 to uh, 3 percent in case of singular system because uh, uh, the singular system requires to uh, uh, construct an open ditch. So, that uh, really uh, you know uh, it is a kind of a loss of land in construction. So, you have to that will add up 2 to 3 percentage of uh, construction. Okay. So, uh, where is this here the first point the pipe laterals and field width. So, it should be less than 300 meters and field width less than 300 meters for single side and double side. So, I mentioned the single side uh, you know the field drains or single sided field drains as well as the some field drains or you know double sided uh, field drains. Okay. So, in the blockages uh, out of uh, so like outflow from uh, field drain to ditch collector is easy to inspect in singular system. So, in case of singular system, so you can easily uh, see the you know the uh, what you call the like this this is a singular system suppose if you are talking right. So, then uh, the outflow drain so is this this is flow to the drain the ditch collector is easy to inspect. So, you can easily inspect because it is open to the uh, open to the atmosphere. So, you can easily see what is going on in case of singular system, but uh, the composite systems are buried. So, uh, if something happened some any problem occurs it is very difficult to uh, uh, look into that. And the blockage uh, affects a small area in case of singular system. Suppose, some blockage uh, happened. So, this is only affecting to this particular lateral, but if some blockage occurs in case of composite system the composite system in the sense this is the pipe. So, over that all you know laterals are you know. Uh, laterals are infrasted. So, then uh, finally, it leads to the outlet. So, if there is a problem in this uh, system and this is uh, everything is uh, underground. So, it is very difficult to inspect in case of uh, composite system and it is uh, liable to continue over a longer period of time as malfunction is not evident. In case of singular system, you can uh, you know continue for longer period of time because the malfunction uh, may not be a you know a immediate uh, you know the problem in case of singular system. And then so the next is the maintenance. So, maintenance uh, ditch collectors require much more maintenance than pipe collectors. 
So, since it is exposed to you know outside environment or outside uh, uh, you know environment, then definitely the ditch uh, collectors the maintenance uh, requires um, more maintenance than pipe collectors. And uh, the outlets, the pipe outlets in the singular system represent weak spots because uh, they are easily damaged that is during a ditch maintenance. So, since the outlets are exposed uh, to uh, in, in outside the ditch, so there is a you know a chance of breakage uh, during maintenance. So, then hydraulic gradient, so the, the pipe collector requires 5 to 10 times uh, more gradient than the ditch collector because of the uh, smaller wet uh, cross section. In case of uh, pipe collectors, so since the smaller uh, you know the smaller diameter pipe compared to the 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 ditches right the ditches so ditch has a wider open channels uh, than the uh, circular i mean the, the narrow diameter pipes so definitely you need uh, uh, a more grade gradient or more slope in case of uh, pipes than the open channels so when the available land slope is con uh, constrained so suppose the uh, land slope is a constraint Right. So, this may be restricted to uh, length of pipe collector. Okay. So, if suppose slope is uh, a problem then you may have to cut down the uh, you know length of the pipe and then proceed. Okay. And it will lead to uh, pumping of the drained water uh, using pumping uh, sumps. Okay. So, uh, then hydraulic gradient what happened it will lead to pumping of the drained water using the pumping sump. For pumping sumps needs to be used in case of uh, uh, in case of uh, pipe drainage systems. And then the cost uh, cost is installation cost for singular systems are lower than the composite system because it contains lot of bands or lot of joints. So, definitely that will cost in, uh, in case of composite system. The maintenance cost is higher for singular systems. Whereas, the maintenance cost is higher uh, in case of singular system uh, because uh, it, it uh, you know gets damaged frequently da uh, gets damaged during the maintenance. So, the singular systems are most suitable for flat plains under humid climatic conditions whereas, composite systems are most suitable for lands with higher slopes or saline soils. So, uh, so this, th this is the uh, I mean final uh, you can see the conclusion in case of singular system uh, as well as composite systems. So, these these are most suitable for uh, flat plains and humid climatic conditions the flat if flat plains because so uh, it requires earthworks right in case of singular system. So, if the uh, the if it is a land um, land leveling will be costlier if there is a grade. So, uh, that is what the, the difference is. And then the drain pipe. Uh, so the drain pipe is a small, uh, you know, pieces of pipes. Uh, if you observe in the, you know, drain, uh, you know, pipe installation. So the pipe drains uh, has evolved since the first time, using some 300 years ago. It's not, you know, it's a new uh, thing. So it's been used uh, in years ago. So the clay pipes are the more prominent. So that's in 18th century they used. So, in place uh, without tile drain industries, so the drain pipes uh, was usually made of concrete. Suppose the, uh, I mean, the clay pipes are not common, then uh, uh, then uh, concrete pipes are being used. So then, after that, the plastic pipes were introduced in 1960. Since then, it conquered the almost all drain pipe uh, market uh, because uh, the uh, less cost as well as as well as the durability is uh, more. Uh, and lightweight, right? And uh, so this being used in almost all, you know, uh, countries. So then uh, there are the types of uh, drain pipes. For example, clay tiles, the you know, clay tiles which is made of uh, uh, clay soil. So the size of the pipe is uh, varying between you know country to country. So the typical pipe size are uh, like uh, thirty centimeter long. Right, so like uh, one foot, one foot long, and have uh, internal diameters of five, six point five centimeter, eight centimeter, ten centimeter, twenty centimeter. So these are the small, like one foot uh, uh, pieces of uh, you know pipes uh, that are made of uh, clay, uh, uh, made of clay. 
So, these are highly resistant to uh, deterioration and corrosion because it is made of clay. So, uh, deterioration will be less uh, and also the corrosion, okay, corrosion resistant and water enters through the joints basically. So, here, so suppose here uh, one tail pipe, then after that there is a uh, another tail pipe, okay, so like this. So, the water, water is going to enter like, like the uh, water is going to enter through the joints in case of uh, these tiles. Okay. So, here if you uh, see the concrete pipe uh, types, so with spacing lug as look at this uh, joints, this is the two tail pipes. So, they are uh, having a like a spacing lug in between uh, the joints and uh, bell and uh, spigot with uh, spacers. So, it is like a bell, this is a bell kind of thing and then the spigot. So, these, this is this is one kind of joint okay. and then the junctions if you see this is the you know, cross piece of junction right. So, this is the main pipe and then the laterals. Okay. So, this is the lateral uh, and then the main pipe or the collector. Okay. This is the T, pi, T piece of uh, T joint. So, like that all uh, you know uh, the joints are also made up of the clays. So, then, then the concrete, the, the concrete pipe here, the diameter, uh, I mean little bigger than, uh, 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 than the tile pipe, this varies from 30 to 50 centimeter and the length is 30 centimeter uh, for the smaller diameter pipes and 50 centimeter for larger diameter pipe. So, uh, and then uh, this is made of Portland cement. So, okay, then the deterioration in uh, acidic or salt affected soils. So, this is the problem because it is made of Portland cement. So, sometimes it is problematic if the soil is salty right, and also acidic. So, it gets deteriorated and water entry occurs through the joints uh, similar to the tile pipes. So, I mean clay tile pipes. So, the water is going to uh, enter through the joints into the, the collectors or, or the drains. Okay. The, so, here the concrete pipes uh, conveyors and collectors if you see, see here the joint so, it is also made up of cement and uh, teared sheet or you can also use the sheet. So, then the uh, tongue and uh, uh, groove uh, kind of thing. So, here there is a two piece of joint uh, one piece and second piece. This is the first piece and second piece. So, these two are joined by o ring. Okay. And then the next is uh, a plastic pipe. So, the plastic pipe is the most uh, commonly available these days. Uh, made from polyethylene uh, and uh, polyvinyl chloride. So, these two materials have been used in uh, uh, you know fabricating the plastic pipe and the length uh, is 30 centimeter for small diameter and 50 centimeter large diameter just like in cement uh, you know pipes and uh, very durable and deteriorated by long exposed to ultraviolet radiation. So, this is the only limitation otherwise it is very durable compared to your concrete and uh, uh, clay tiles. And the PVC becomes brittle with freezing temperature. Suppose if you are installing these uh, PVC pipes under freezing condition, soil freezing condition, definitely uh, that is going to solidify and brittle, uh, become brittle and going to break. And most of the plastic pipes are supplied with uh, corrugations either spiral or parallel. So, here the uh, nowadays the corrugation, corrugated pipes are available because uh, uh, it is easier to transport, right, and also you can. Uh, you can get larger lengths uh, in single piece. Okay, uh, higher hydro because uh, and also the other things are, are like higher hydraulic roughness and requires 20 percent increase in diameter to carry same flow as smooth pipe. So because of the corrugations, so because of the corrugations, suppose uh, like this, these are the corrugations. Okay, so if these are the corrugations. So, the hydraulic uh, roughness uh, is going to increase because, uh, because of these corrugations right undulations. So, hydraulic roughness uh, definitely will increase compared to the smooth pipe uh, that is why it, uh, it requires 20 percent increase in diameter. Okay. So, in order to carry the same flow here if you are carrying the Q here in order to carry the same flow you need to increase the diameter 20 percent more than the uh, smooth pipe. And the cost of corrugated and smooth pipes are almost same, right? And uh, here, internal diameter, which is equal to 0 0.9 times the out, uh, outer diameter, where outer diameter varies from 50 to you know 200 mm. Okay, 200 mm. 
So, this is the uh, thumb rule to uh, decide the internal and uh, uh, outer diameter. Okay. And then uh, the perforations, so this, these are all important uh, when you are talking about you know the uh, uh, what you call the corrugated pipes. So, the pipe may have <coughs> any pattern that provide even distribution around the circumference. So, here uh, I mean in case of corrugations, in case of corrugations right. So, uh, look at this, this whole here these are the perforations right, perforations are uh, not on the hills right, perforations on the valleys, the most all perforations on the valleys and they follow in a particular you know pattern right, they follow in the particular the pattern and the open area should be uh, minimal 800 mm square for meter length of the pipe, this is also thumb rule uh, in order to avoid uh, you know the uh, uh, in order to increase uh, keep the strength alive basically. So, otherwise what happened if you keep on you know uh, making the holes the pipe strength is going to be down. So, then uh, it may get damaged very soon. So, the life will be uh, reduced. And then here uh, if you see look at this different corrugation types. So, for example, the corrugations are sinusoidal corrugations right. So, that means if you see the surface right. So, this is a kind of a sine curve like sinusoidal uh, corrugations or uh, concentric or parallel corrugations. So, sometimes you may also see the, the parallel corrugations like, like here this is the parallel right all parallel corrugations and also the spiral corrugations right. So, these, these are the, the spirals okay, spiral corrugations and the the cross section this so the cross section uh, will be different in case of uh, you know sinusoidal concentric and a spiral case and the couples uh, are couplers if you see so this is a one way snap one way snap couple so this is kind of one uh, a small piece so it will be a joint between these two pipes right so that is a, a one way snap and then for example, if you see this, this one is a, a, a slit piece of pipe for external connection okay, for external connection. So, for example, this one for external connection. So, in between so do, uh, two corrugation uh, corrugated pipes will be added it is a kind of a coupler. And so, you can also uh, reduce the pipe size by using the reducers right. So, different uh, uh, for uh, different applications, so there are uh, different couplers or joints are available in the market in in uh, uh, you know in adjoining the corrugated pipes. So then, then the other thing is uh, pipe fittings. So this is a cross piece uh, pipe fitting. For example, if you have corrugated pipe here, here, and uh, reducer here and reducer here, so. So, this can be uh, used so in composite you know pipe connections the composite uh, pipe connections and this is the T piece and this is a Y piece. So, you can see this is commercially available uh, these pieces and multiple size fittings here. So, this uh, you, you can you know connect uh, different uh, laterals right different laterals to you to or uh, to the collector right. similarly here uh, and also the elbow piece connection right. So, if you observe the composite uh, kind of thing, so this is the uh, collector, this is a collector and these are the laterals right laterals. So, the uh, water will be uh, coming here right or you can go there or it may you know uh, pass into collector. Okay, so, here if you see the entrance so the clay for clay type uh, tile pipes as I said the water uh, enters through the joints right water entry points are here. So, these are the joints right. So, and then uh, from the soil this is from the soil this is saturated soil or inundated with water. So, water will be entering through the joints and then finally, enter through the uh, to the main channels or main drain. Okay. Similarly, the uh, plastic pipes are spiral corrugations. So, the uh, in case of uh, corrugations, so if you look at these uh, openings right slots. 
So, the water enters through the, the slots in the grooves, so in the grooves right in the valleys. So, generally uh, the slot size, I mean the groove size uh, which varies from 0.1 to 1 centimeter right, whereas the slot size 5 mm long and 0 0.6 to 2 mm uh, wide ok. So, like the slots are uh, like a, a long slots, it is not circular right, rectangular slots. So, which has uh, 5 mm long right and then uh, a width of 0 0.6 to 2 mm width ok. And the plastic pipe and parallel corrugations. So, in the in, in this case the so slot ever corrugation and the double entrance resistance. So, uh, here so uh, if you see the slots, so here the no slots observe the no slots ok. So, this is called slots ever corrugation. So, this is one corrugation and then another corrugation kind of thing and uh, double entrance sometimes what happen. So, you see the double entrance right. So, only two. So, uh, I, I mean double entrance in the sense. So, here and here. So, this is uh, I mean blind ok. So, this is slots every corrugation, every corrugation you have slots or sometimes double entrance resistance. So, resistance uh, entrance resistance is increasing in this case ok. So, when we are talking about water entry uh, into the pipes definitely we uh, see the uh, entrance losses so, because the pipes with you know smaller opening area will have higher head loss and vice versa. So, since you are we are uh, looking into this drain pipe uh, entry points right all entry pipe points are you know smaller in size uh, either in clay pipe uh, for example, joints or in corrugated pipes uh, the slots. So, uh, the water which is uh, flowing a little bit faster and all of a sudden enter into the small open area definitely that experience the head loss ok. So, that is why so we see the, the entrance losses these are important uh, while designing while designing the drainage uh, system. So, when uh, drains have envelope around it so entrance losses can be reduced significantly that is why the envelope is very important. Uh, because suppose this is the pipe right. So, the envelope definitely uh, helps in reducing the entrance losses because so the water is so sorry the water is going to enter from the uh, uh, top right water is going to enter from the top. So, all of it uh, so there is a enough you know opportunity to enter from this point to or from this point to the slot ok. So, that way the entrance losses are going to be reduced. So, then high entry uh, resistance is mostly due to clogging or blocking of opening the pipe. So, what happens the blocking and clogging can cause increasing the head losses. Though uh, entry characteristics of different pipes envelope may be compared using the standardized resistance factor alpha which is defined as H e is equal to alpha into q divided by uh, K, where H e is the head loss entry loss uh, that is in meters and alpha is the resistance factor alpha and Q is in uh, inflow rate pipe uh, per meter uh, length of the pipe which is meter cube per uh, meter into day. So, then uh, K the hydraulic conductivity of the envelope material meter per day ok. So, here this is if you remember you know Darcy's equation. So, it is uh, uh, similar to this right there, there is a uh, Q is equal to K into I into A right. So, Q is uh, the inflow rate into the pipe for example, K is the hydraulic conductivity, I is the head loss right and area of cross section ok. So, alpha, alpha is kind of uh, here is the resistance where is the conductance right. So, the same thing if you see Q is equal to H e of K H e divided by alpha. So, here uh, so definitely this is the resistance factor alpha ok K is the hydraulic conductivity of envelope material. So, remember this uh, equation uh, is very important. So, alpha varies from uh, alpha is different for different materials ok and uh, like clay, clay type or uh, uh, corrugated type. So, th that will be uh, different. So, if you see the uh, clay and concrete as I said the alpha ranges from 0 0.4 to uh, 2 and smooth plastic 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 where corrugated plastic 0 0.05 to 
the point 1. So, so which one uh, is getting uh, the resistance? In case of uh, corrugated plastic, the resistance is uh, uh, the, uh, less compared to uh, you know clay and concrete pipes. Okay, so this uh, this graph shows the the pipe diameter on y axis, uh, x axis and entrance area on uh, uh, x axis or uh, y axis. So, and the graph, I mean, the, the lines are showing 1 percent per, uh, perforation area pipe. Uh, area pipe. Suppose if we have the pipe with 1 percent open area, right. So, increasing the pipe diameter, the entrance area, the entrance area needs to be uh, increased, okay, needs to be increased in order to avoid the entry losses, okay. And then uh, selection criteria of a, a drain pipe. So, uh, for clay and concrete pipes, these are suitable uh, where uh, pipe drains are not locally available. Of course, if suppose the material is not available, uh, uh, I mean uh, suppose the pipe drains are not uh, are locally available, right. The concrete uh, pipes are economically feasible for large areas. Suppose if you in that particular area, the, the you know the clay, clay uh, soils are more, I mean uh, largely. Uh, you know available. So, then probably the clay tiles would be better. Okay. So, the clay and concrete pipes are suitable where pipe drains are not locally available. So, pipe drains suppose pipe drains are not available then clay and concrete pipes are uh, that means here the PVC drain pipes are not locally available. Okay. So, then uh, concrete pipes are uh, you know economically feasible for large areas uh, because it is durable compared to the clay. And where all types are available, the use of corrugated plastic pipes are distinct advantages. Suppose you have clay pipes, you have clay tiles, or you have uh, concrete tiles, you have you know PVC tiles, and uh, you you have uh, what you call corrugated pipes. So if you all pipes are available, then uh, better you choose corrugated pipes because these are lightweight and deliver in long lengths and low transport cost okay so because the the comes in you know the the wounds or you can say uh, bundles so the plastic pipes are most suitable for mechanical installation right and uh, and uh, performance is less affected by uh, poor installation so in case of plastic pipes these are most suitable for uh, mechanical installation so the machine can be uh, I like uh, heavier machines can be used uh, to lay these pipes in the field uh, and the performance is uh, which is less affected by poor installation. Okay. So, even, even the installation is poor, the uh, drainage system performs well. The price of smaller diameter less than 10 centimeter are usually of the same for all material. right? So, the price for all almost all drain pipes are same for smaller pipes. And larger diameter plastics are more expensive. Okay. And then pipe envelope, if you see the, the function of pipe envelope, you know the envelope is the material which is uh, uh, you know provided, provided around the drain pipe, so that uh, it acts as a filter function. So, to prevent the entry of the final particles into pipe, if you see this, so this is the drain pipe and this is the land surface. So, and after that, so this is all soil right and at exactly at this point there is a uh, you know clank of ground or land drain or trench or you can say this is the envelope. Okay. So, this is the envelope uh, which, he, which, will, which will be act as you know the, the filter media. Right. So, then uh, so, suppose, so this is the pipe and this is the envelope, right, envelope material. So, water enters through the envelope material and enter uh, and finally, to the drain pipe. So, this whole uh, material will act as a filter media. So, that means, the finer particles are going to trap in the envelope material and then the clean water goes into the uh, drain pipe. And the next function is hydraulic function. So, this uh, prevents this, this provide uh, a porous medium for high porosity around the drain okay, and to reduce the head loss at the entry. So, this is the hydraulic function. So, since it, it provides the porous media uh, uh, around the drain pipe. So, the uh, fluid flow into the soil will be 
uh, you know the flow velocity will be reduced and then the entrance loss will be uh, you know reduced. And then mechanical support, so it, it acts as it provides a uh, passive mechanical support with the pipe. So, once you have a uh, envelope material on top and over uh, and even even the heavier machines or any any uh, form machinery can be uh, you know run on top be, because it, it acts like a cushion ok. So, the like uh, like a support mechanical support and bedding function it also acts like a, a bedding to provide stable base for the drain pipe. So, for the drain pipe uh, the other end is acts like a you know like, like a uh, bedding. And the pipe envelope, uh, so there is a recommendation from uh, United States Soil Conservation Service. Uh, so, when you design, when you design a, a gravel envelope, so the D50 of uh, gravel envelope and D50 of uh, the soil, the ratio uh, needs to be in between 12 to 58. Okay. So, this is one recommendation, so that, that means here once you, you, you do the uh, particle size analysis that is the grain size on x axis and percentage passing on y axis. So, you are going to get this kind of graph right. So, that means you take a soil and uh, and a sieve it see, uh, I mean pass through different size of sieves. So, then uh, observe the percentage of passing for each size and you get this, this kind of curve ok. So, now so, the 60 percent that, that, that means 60 percent percentage of material is passed through. So, this this particular sieve size ok. So, so that means the particle size of for example, here uh, it will be like uh, 1.5 something like that 1.5 uh, mm uh, has passed through. So, 60 percent is a 1.5 uh, mm is uh, pass through or, or uh, I mean the material which is uh, 60 percent is passes is 1.5 centimeter of mm 0.1 mm. So, knowing that uh, and similarly, so knowing the soil and knowing this this one and you can estimate this range ok. Suppose uh, D 50 of soil you know right. So, then uh, multiplying with that with 12 to 58 that will give the range for D 50 of F. So, and, and then D 15 F by D 15 S as this range ok. So, here you get D 15 F. So, D 15 F D 50 F and D 15 F ok. Using these two you can extrapolate this graph or this curve for gravel material ok for gravel material. So, for gravel uh, once you know that and uh, so knowing that and you can you can get the gravel material of particular range ok. And if you are talking about the stability of filter, so D 15 filter media and uh, D 85 soil that should be less than equal to 5. So, that you get a stable envelope ok or uh, D 85 F greater than or equal to half of the width of the pipe perforated or D 5 of uh, filter media which should be greater than or equal to uh, 0.42 mm. So, this is given by F A O 1980 ok. So, here F is the filter material S is the soil material. So, filter material here it is gravel or envelope material envelope acts like a filter that is why it uh, denoted with F. Okay, so, uh, this is all about in this lecture. So, here initially we compared the, uh, the singular and uh, composite systems and uh, so and the different aspects we consider. So, while choosing you know singular and uh, uh, composite system in terms of the cost, the maintenance you know uh, I mean maintenance and then uh, so once after that we move on to drain pipe. So, the drain pipes are of like uh, clay tile pipes right and then concrete pipes the PVC uh, and then corrugated pipes ok. So, these so and the choice is suppose the clay uh, tile pipes uh, uh, or the clay soils are prominent in that area mostly uh, in order to avoid the cost or mostly we look for the local material uh, which can be used to make the tiles. 
So, the tiles are uh, I mean uh, suitable for that area. But suppose, if you have uh, I mean uh, available uh, material like uh, clay, concrete, you know plastic all things are available. So, then you better choose the corrugated pipes because they have an added advantage uh, of uh, you know. So, and the uh, compared to the less less cost and the transportation cost less weight. Okay. So, and also larger lengths are available so that you can cover the larger uh, field widths. Okay. So, then uh, then the entrance losses uh, we have studied. So, uh, knowing the uh, because the moment the water enters from you know the top to the drain pipe. So, high velocity I mean uh, relatively high velocity. So, uh, that definitely the high velocity fluid enters through the smaller openings definitely experience entrance losses. So, that can be avoided by you know uh, constructing an envelope envelope. So, the envelope has a different you know usages like it acts like a filter it reduces the entrance losses okay. and also it, it supports the uh, bottom of the drain pipe as a bedding material right. Uh, so, all advantages you can experience and also mechanical support. Okay. So, and uh, there are recommendations to choose the uh, you know the material or the grain size for envelope material. So, knowing this soil uh, grain size. So, uh, United, United States Soil Conservation Service has recommended uh, I mean the thumb rules uh, also for FAO, um, uh, FAO also uh, suggested some thumb rules. So, following this and we are going to design the uh, envelope material uh, you know oh, grain sizes. Okay. So, yeah thank you.